section we are going to make some practicing using the simple GUI and the sound. So right now I have a couple lines of codes. So let me just go ahead, I will run them and let's see what we have from these lines. So right now I have my frame, I have a two objects and using my timer function, so my one of the object is changing the position. So I have my ball, I have my second object. So whenever ball, the ball hits the ground, it goes back and randomly generates it again. And if I catch it, it's, it does the same one. So right now what I'm going to do is I will add two different sounds. If I catch it, it will get the, it will give me a different sound. If I uh, if it falls down, it hits the ground, so it will give me completely different sounds. And right now I have a two samples over here. The first sample that I want to use for my if I catch it, so it will look like it will sound like click, and if I miss it, it will it is going to sound like. Perfect, so right now I have a two samples and I want to use these two samples on my simple GUI on my game. So right now I will not just go in the detail and explain what every single line stands for, but the only thing is the line number 22 all the way to 25, it's all about if I cage my ball. So if the ball is hitting my object and these two lines 28 and 29, that is all about if it's going to hit my ground. So first of all, let me just put it some space over here and I will uh, I will load my these, these two files to my simple GUI. I will say that my sound, let me just zoom a little bit in so we can see clearly. So my sound one is equal to simple GUI, oops, simple GUI, that is my library. And I will say load uh, sound and I need to specify what is my source of the sound. And the same one from the second one. So I will say simple GUI load sound. Now I need to specify what is the source of my second uh, second sound. So let me just, I will just make sure that is working pro properly. Perfect, so that is, sounds good. I will just make a copy. Here is the copy and I'm going to pass it over here. So, yes, perfect. So I'm done with the first one. What about second one? Yes, it is working. So I'm going to copy it and I will put it on the second one. So right now I have my two source. So that is my first one and that is my second one. So sound one and sound two. So let me just go ahead. So these lines of code, it's all about if I catch my if I catch my ball. So I will make it just a little space right here, and I will say that if I catch it, sound one should be playing now. So I will say playing, and same over here. If I if I miss it, so the sound two is going to be played. So I will say play, open and close the parentheses. Perfect. So it looks like I have a two lines of code and two lines uh, of uh, uh, loading my uh, sound from the, uh, from the internet and here I'm executing them. So let me see. Perfect. So the sound is working. So if I catch that, the sound is working. Let me miss it. If I miss it, it is going to give me perfect. Second sound looks like sounds like a little bit loud, so I want to just change the volume of the second sound. So what I can say that here I will put the sound to because we're gonna work on the second one. Second, I will say set volume, and the volume uh, the inside the volume it should be changing from uh, between zero and the one. The zero is the minimum one, and the one is the maximum one. So let me just put a zero point seven. It's about seven now. So if I run it one more time, perfect. Yes, now, so both both of them are working now. The, the first one and the second is working now and the sound too is just a little bit lower uh, in the vo low, lower volume. So that is all about how to use the volumes, how to use the sound in the, in the specific games or in, in different conditions.